everyone and welcome to another episode of Irongo Talk. My name is Leandria Lowe and today we join you from the lovely Swakopmund. Specifically we are from Shalom Baking which is the best bakkeys in Swakopmund. Now as usual we bring you the latest news, the weather and tides and then for our interview we chat to Rihanna Manz here from Shalom Baking and she's going to tell us about the delectables they bake here. Now we're also going to focus on the highlights of the Southern African Development Community's highlights over the past um, many 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 years since their establishment. So please don't go anywhere, we'll be right back after this. And now it's time for your news and we're joining you here from Shalom Baking, that is the best of bakkeys here in Swakopmund. Now the Namibian breweries NBL donated a tent as well as water to victims of the recent DRC informal settlement shack fire. Now Ron Ritman made the donation on behalf of the company and called on other companies, other companies to come on board to help the fire victims. Now the fire destroyed 33 shacks on Friday, that was 16 July last week, afternoon in the DRC informal settlement. Now in the meantime, the Swakopmund municipality has set up a shelter at the Mondesa sports field consisting of nine tents and provided 35 mattresses and 35 blankets. Now the fire victims were relocated to the site on Friday. But you can read more on what um, the, the victims are saying about the donations at our website, that's at www.irongo.com.n. A. Now, sports scene in Swakopmund was robbed of men's clothing during the early hours of Monday morning. Now, the total value of the clothing is about 97,000 Namibian dollars and comprises of 139 men's jeans and 188 men's t-shirts. Now, the items have not been recovered yet and no arrests have been made. So, the police is calling on the public to assist with information that will lead to the arrest and the discovery of the stolen items. But you can head on over to our website that's www.irongo.com.na to see who exactly it is to contact when you see someone who is walking around with a few new jeans or a few new t-shirts. Now and finally Rossing Uranium released its 2020 report to stakeholders under the theme moving forward to the new era. Now the report is a valuable source of information about Rossing Uranium's activities. We believe in open communication and this report outlines how we performed in 2020. Now the report offers locally relevant information about our business and other aspects raised during the year, said Johan Kutsia, the mines managing director. Now he also said with the current challenges, we are confident that Rossing will continue to be a major supplier of energy to the world as well as delivering value to our shareholders and other stakeholders could see us said. But there's a lot more going on with this report and you can head on over to our website that's at www.irongo.com.na that's www.irongo.com.na to read more on this and so much more on what's happening right here in our Irongo region. In April 1980, in Lusaka, Zambia, our founders came together and formed the Southern African Development Coordination Conference, which later, in August 1992, in Windhoek, Namibia, transformed into the Southern African Development Community, SADC, following the signing of the SADC Declaration and Treaty. Through SADC, our founders envisioned a region that would collectively advance the cause of national political liberation, paving the way for economic integration in Southern Africa. 
True to the dreams and aspirations of our founders, SADC has made significant strides towards development, peace and security, and economic growth through regional integration and cooperation. Over the years, the membership of SADC has increased from 9 in 1992 to the current 16 member states, bringing a unique diversity of states in mainland Southern Africa and the Indian Ocean. The increased membership has not only demonstrated the willingness of member states to cooperate in addressing issues of importance to the region, but has expanded SADC's footprint on the African continent while creating a larger market for goods and services within a population of 340 million and a combined GDP of 720 billion US dollars. Since its establishment, SADC has consistently shown unwavering solidarity and unity against the many challenges the region faces. The SADC region was at the forefront of the global campaign to end apartheid in South Africa, which led to the independence of Namibia in 1990 and the collapse of the apartheid system in South Africa in 1994. Today, SADC is a stable and peaceful region with an expansive market, a youthful population, and a conducive environment for investment. SADC's solidarity and commitment to deeper regional integration has been demonstrated by the signing of a total of 33 protocols covering a wide range of sectors including agriculture, food security and natural resources, infrastructure, industrial development, trade, investment and finance, social and human development, peace and security. Added to these protocols are instruments and policies which include the Regional Indicative Strategic Development Plan, Strategic Indicative Plan for the Organ on Politics, Defense and Security Cooperation, SADC Industrialization Strategy and Roadmap 2015-2063, to SADC Regional Agricultural Policy and SADC Regional Infrastructure Development Master Plan. Together, these protocols and instruments have laid a strong legal and policy framework for promoting regional cooperation and integration in various sectors. Over the years, SADC has continued to improve facilitation of movement of persons as well as goods and services across the region. The removal of visa requirements for most SADC member states allows SADC citizens to freely travel to any SADC country. With the SADC recognized driver's license, SADC citizens can drive to any SADC country without having to acquire another driver's license. The one-stop border posts which are being established along some of the transport corridors within the region, together with the harmonized road transport regulations, have all eased movement of people, goods and services, thereby saving time and reducing transport costs for travelers. At the same time, SADC member states have become more and more interconnected through regional rail and road infrastructure, making it easier for business operators to transport goods across borders. In addition, the SADC Real-Time Gross Settlement, RTGS, a regional cross-border multi-currency payment system, is helping to ease cross-border payment and in the process, promoting intra- and inter-regional trade. SADC has over the past years front-loaded industrialization in the regional economic integration agenda. And through the implementation of the SADC Industrialization Strategy and Roadmap 2015-2063, to numerous opportunities are opening through the promotion of value chains. The SADC Industrialization Agenda is motivating the region to diversify regional economies, develop productive capacity, create employment and build a more sustainable growth path for the region. By utilizing the vast agricultural and mineral resources of the region, Adding value to the products will go a long way in realizing the full potential of the region's abundant natural resources. To support the SADC industrialization drive and enhance regional integration through energy infrastructure development, the region continues to cooperate to increase energy production and distribution. In this regard, the region has established the Southern African Power Pool, which has continued to connect member states to the regional power grid thus providing an interconnected electrical system in the region, resulting in increased power supply and its accessibility to industries and rural communities. In terms of gender and women empowerment, the establishment of several institutional frameworks, including the SADC Protocol on Gender and Development, has contributed to increased number of women in decision-making positions and several interventions to address gender-based violence. In addition, more girls are now attending school and graduating from universities and colleges, thereby reducing their economic vulnerability and paving the way for women and girls to realize their full potential. About 70% of the population of the SADC region depends on agriculture for food, income and employment. To avoid the region's cherished plants going into extinction, 
the Sadik Plant Genetic Resources Center in Lusaka, Zambia, has continued to preserve hundreds of plant genetic resources as a means to improve agricultural production and ensure food and nutrition security for the region in the years ahead. SADC continues to cooperate in preserving shared resources such as water and other natural resources through river basin organizations and transfrontier conservation areas across the region. The conservation of the region's abundant natural resources and wildlife has made the SADC region one of the most preferred tourist destinations in Africa and the world. In the process, the tourism sector has generated billions of dollars and created thousands of jobs, making tourism a vehicle for socio-economic development. Through the work of the SADC organ on politics, defense and security cooperation, internal conflicts have been resolved. The region has witnessed smooth and democratic transfers of power and a substantial progress has been made in the fight against transnational organized crimes, armed groups and other security threats. All these efforts have made the SADC region one of the most peaceful and stable regions in the world. In the years ahead, SADC will continue to build on the successes made so far. Guided by the SADC Vision 2050, SADC envisions a peaceful, inclusive, middle to high income industrialized region where all citizens enjoy sustainable economic well-being, justice and freedom. One region, 16 nations, working towards a common future. Together, we are strong. reflections. A few months back, I spoke at a conference, an HR conference in the Philippines, and sort of the theme of, of the conference was about artificial intelligence. And I was asked the question, how do we lead in an age of artificial intelligence? Do we still need leaders? And the answer to that is definitely yes. Remember, Everybody is so concerned about artificial intelligence, or robots, or humanoids as they're called, chatbots, CRM systems. It's taking over. There's nothing we can do to stop it. What we need to do is embrace it. It's not going to go away, and you can't wish it away. You need to embrace it. So you need to adapt your leadership style. And if you look at today's youth, as we can call them, younger than 35, are primarily millennials and the Gen Zs. And their main focus is technology. And people likely joke that the Gen Zs were born with a cell phone in each hand. They are heavily reliant on technology and social media. They trust social media a lot more than they would trust you and me or trust a book that they read. It's just the nature of how they are and how they operate. So what is the way forward? The way forward, I would say for a leader, is learn to embrace technology. I mean, even at my age, look what I'm doing. I'm speaking to you via YouTube and I'm using social media and I'm using technological platforms to reach my audiences. So you as a leader, don't fight it. Ons gesel is nou bykie Afrikaans, so met Rihanna Mans, is Eynor hier van Shalom Viking. Hi Rihanna, hoe gaan dit? Goeiemorgen, baie goed, dankie met julle. Gaan goed. So Rihanna, vertel ons bykie van Shalom Viking. Wanneer het julle begin, wat doen julle hier? Ja, Shalom Viking is die geregistreerde naam en bekende naam is die beste bakhuis. Ek het uit Nieuw-Zeeland uitgekom in 
2016 en begin werk as een chef, want ik is gekwalificeerd als een chef en besluit om bij je plek te begin door te bak, want ik is baie liever vir bak om vir pastry en goed. So ek het, in 2016 het ek visies begin om hierdie bakhuis mm-hmm. en vandaar of het net gegroeid en het groter bezigheid gehad, waar het thuis naar je uit my huis het was, moest ik in een groter spasie ingetrek het. Dit is hoe ons hier geëindig het. Ok, lief like, so vertel ons gauw van, van al die verskillende koekies en dingetjies wat jullie hier aanbied. Ja, ons bak 33 soorte koekies, waarvan die mensen kan absoluut instappen, emmer vat en pak uit wat hy wil. So ons begin bij een makkelijke en een schimmer koekies, dan het ons, wat ons noem is smelty, dan hierdie is een klein smarty koekie, vanilla koekie met smarties in, dan het ek, um, jongman knoopies, I like, like en dan hierdie ene is een crunchy, en dan sit limoen koekies, chocolate koekies met vermicelli, um, wit en bruin koekies, so vanilla, chocolate koekie, koekies met smarties op, chokchip, so enig iets waarin jy kan denk, gevulde koekies, enig iets waarin jy kan denk, dit is wat ons bak. So jy het rechtig om van te kies en te keer, ja. en hulle lyk like baie, baie lekker. So Rihanna, vertel ons gauw gauw, is daar nog iets wat jylle graag by jylle reeks wil baie voeg? Nog iets waarom jylle wil experimenteer? Weet jy, ek doen glutenvry, brode en koekies en beskuit, en ons doen ook suikervry, koekies, beskuit, en ons doen beskuit, ons doen gezondheidsbeskuit, ons het vruchte net beskuit, ek doen haar nuis beskuit, ons het een secret beskuit wat elke keer anders te kans maak as gevolg van die geheim wat daar ingaan, en ook jyself doen met sy koekie, en dan doen ons jam terkies, ons enig iets wat gebak is, dit kan ons doen. Mm-hmm. En wat is jou ginsling type gebak? As jy nou een moes kies, wat is jou die lekkerste om te doen? <laughs> Vir my is altyd die lekkerste wees om die deeg te speel, um, jou pastries is, is beverre die lekkerste, mm-hmm. en is waar, maar ek experimenteer baie, al my recepte is self geskryf, mm-hmm. Ek vat nie die boeken en ek vat die recepte en sê, want enig iemand kan dit nie, my nie moet speciaal wees. So ek skryf my eie recepte, ek doen my eie producte, so vir my is het lekker om te speel. So as ek kan werk met my deeg, wat die baie knie en die foutprocesse en alles, ek is maal daar oor. Okay. Lieflik, so sê goed goed vir my, vir die kijkers wat nou dalk besluit hulle willen draai kiek om maak, wat sal jy vir hulle aanbeveel om mee te begin? Weet jy, ek, baie mense wat inkom sal ek sê, begin met een gemengde pakkie koekies, um, want daar het het, omdat daar iets van alles basis in is, dan het jy kese van, ek hou van hierdie en ek hou van, so volgende keer as jy inkom, kan jy sê, ek wil net hierdie ene, of ek wil net daar ene, en jy pak jou eie, soos wat jy dit wil lees, so dit, dit werk die beste. Mm-hmm. Ok, en dan Rihanna, ten laaste, het jy nog drome vir die bezigheid, wil jy nog uitbrei, hoe sal jy nog graag wil uitbrei? Ja, ek wil graag uitbrei, um, ek wil graag oor hierdie en my bee voorsien, as het moendlik is, mm-hmm. dit is my grootste droom, en ja, Ek, is, ek doen baie liefdadigheid, so baie van die koekies sy gelde en sy fonds wat ons in kreeg gaan in liefdadigheid in. Mm-hmm. Lieflik, so dan onthou vir a, vir niks lekkerder is a, is a lekker stukje beskuit vir lekker koekie nie, so kom maak gerust a draai by Shalom Biking, ook bekend is die beste bakhuis. Dankie Riona. Baie dankie. Now it's time for your weather and tides for all the major towns here in the Irango region.
Now that unfortunately brings us to the end of today's episode of Irongo Talk, but you can always head on over to our website, that's www.irongo.com.na, that's www.irongo.com.na. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter and on Instagram, and you can also contact us on both our wet, the WhatsApp or Telegram number, that's 011. 7040, that's over double one, 7040. Now remember, we still find ourselves in a pandemic, so it's important that you wear your mask, you social distance, and you sanitize at all times. So if you're in the mood for some lekker home baked cookies and coffee, Shalom Baking in Swakop Munt, the best bakers in Swakop Munt is the place to be. So we'll see you again tomorrow. Please enjoy your day. Bye bye.